welcome to episode 27 of Mickey's Musings and Readings. Today I want to remind you again of present moment, moment awareness. Um, and uh, I've often talked about it because it is so important. Um, what I've, I'm realizing more and more is that all the magic of life happens in the present moment. The moments we um, project our thoughts to the future or to the past, um, they, we, we, we lose that magic that happens in this very moment. Because as we've said before, uh, um, our, our truth lies in this present moment and in the next one and in the next one. So what I want to do today is I have two readings that I want to share with you. The first one is a poem by my spiritual teacher Shastro um, and the title is just Presence. Um, so here is what he wrote. Even though my body is here, how far can I be from being here while traveling through the meanness of past memories or future possibilities? And yet, in only a second, I'm back and I can hear the wind blowing through the leaves and the crow's call echoing while it flies away. And here I am. In the expanse of this moment, in its vacuum filled with presence, in the depth of its ever-changing stillness, wrapping around me like a blanket made of the finest feathers. And I rest. I rest in its embrace. And I feel home again. So this touches me so much. I love this poem. It makes me very emotional. And um, I, um, I feel some good thoughts <laughs> because it's so beautiful. And the second reading I want to share with you is about meditation. And it's um, from one of, of Osho's talks called Nothing to Lose But Your Head. <laughs> This is also something that Shastro um, sent to <coughs> all of us who attend his um, uh, meditation sessions. And often Shastro says that um, it's not, today we're not going to meditate, we're just going to sit together. So if the word meditation is a bit scary for you or um, you think that it's something that um, is not for you or that you can't do, you've tried it and it doesn't work, just bear with me and listen to this, um, uh, uh, this text that I want to share with you. It's called A Five Minute Daily Meditation. Just for five minutes, meditate and you will see that it becomes a constant nourishment. Whenever you find time, there's no need to make a fixed time. Use whatsoever time is available in the bathroom when you have 10 minutes. Just sit under the shower and meditate. In the morning, in the afternoon, just four or five times. For small intervals, just five minutes, meditate and you will see that it becomes a constant nourishment. Step one, relax the breathing. Relax the breathing system, nothing else. There is no need to relax the whole body. Sitting in the train or plane or in the car, nobody will become aware that you are doing something. Just relax the breathing system. Let it be as when it is functioning naturally. Step two, watch the breath, then close your eyes and watch the breathing going in, coming out, going in. Simply relax and watch the breathing. In that watching, 
Nothing is excluded. The car is humming. Perfectly okay. Accept that. The traffic is passing. That's okay. Part of life. The fellow pa passenger snoring be, be, uh, excuse me, the fellow pa passenger snoring by your side. Accept it. Nothing is rejected. You are not to narrow down your consciousness. Careful, because concentration is a narrowing down of your consciousness. So you become one-pointed, but everything else becomes a competition. You are fighting everything else because you are afraid that the point may be lost. You may be distracted and that becomes disturbing. But in accepting everything inside and around you, you keep expanding. There's no need to do it for 24 hours. Just a cup of meditation will do. No need to drink the whole river. Just a cup of tea will do. Make it as easy as possible. Easy is right. Make it as natural as possible. And don't be after it. Just do it whenever you find time. Don't make a habit of it. Because all habits are of the mind. And a real person, in fact, has no habits. Well, that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope you will find it useful. And um, just to mention that next week and the week after, I won't be in France and um, I will be traveling. Um, I'll be traveling to South Africa to go see my family. And um, so I'm not sure if I will um, be recording <laughs> uh, Mickey's Musings and Readings. But let's see, I'm not going to say I won't be doing it. I'm not going to, to promise that I will publish uh, videos for the next uh, two weeks. Let's see how things unfold. Take good care of yourself and I will see you when I see you. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.